The Fallen banner is here. It's probably one of the most anticipated banners of the year. I actually wasn't gonna summon for it. I'll, I'll tell you guys why later, but this time around we're doing a chill summoning video. I thought it'd be a cool chance to chat with you guys since I don't really do too many summoning videos, which I guess you can tell by my orb count. <laughs> uh, I just, hold on, wait, let me pull up the, what's the stupid thing in the app where you can, yeah, so, Completely F2P orbs, not a single dime spent on this on this shitty game. Um, that, 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 that's a joke. <laughs> so completely F2P. I I figured I actually wasn't too crazy about everyone. Well, they're very good. Um, I'll talk I'll talk about my thoughts on the banner later. But the reason why I decided to summon this time around actually ties into the first question. Uh, so I asked you guys all for some questions. Thank you so much. You guys are the goat. And so. First question comes from 53, another Faytuber, and the first is, uh, show me your favorite units of your favorite, uh, with your favorite builds. And so the reason why I'm summoning is because I love my legendary Yuri. I run him with a life and death seven AOE build, um, although he is growing now, uh, obviously. I gave him blazing too. And this time, I wanted to give him the new shiny life and death, uh, I don't even know what it's called. I just I just call it life and death like five or, or whatever. Because I always, I already run him with AOEs. Um, I just think it's fun. I love AOEs, and since, of course, I, I use him like all the time. I wanted, I, I wanted to give him the shiny new things. And so, actually, my most unit, most my, my most wanted unit this time around is probably Ursula, uh, just for the fodder, just to give her, uh, just to give him, give him this. It's kind of funny because I don't know. I, I like to have one living copy of everyone, so ideally, I would have two Ursulas. But this time around, I think I'm gonna go for full circle summons and then just do one spark this time. And then the other question from 53 is, are you willing to do any collabs or hang out as friends? And the answer is absolutely. I love doing collabs. I've done some already. And I, I love the, that the FE community is like small niche enough that we can all get together and do our own things. I love doing collabs. I feel like we have more collabs, maybe more often than other communities. Um, I don't know if that's actually true, but it just it just kind of feels like it. Like it's, it's a very small, uh, nice community. I love doing collabs. My DMs are always always open on Twitter. Uh, and then I appreciate you, 53. Thanks for the question. And then the second question comes from Professor Toad, which is, what do you think of Fallen Ursula? Desperation is a really broken effect to have at start of turn. It feels like everyone is underrating her. So this is a, probably a good chance to go into my thoughts on the banner. Ursula, I st well, okay, in general, I think it's still too early to definitively say how good everyone is. Um, I generally don't really, I, I like to wait a bit until after a unit's released to really like analyze or think about how well they do because there's a lot of things that you think about in theory, but it doesn't always pan out the same way in practice, like for, for better or for worse. And so everything I say is like, is take with a big grain of salt, just very, very light, light impressions can totally change later, but for now, Ursula is very nice. Desperation is awesome. Like I think I might be unusually high on desperation than the average person. So you think I would I would love her? Um, but I just I just like her. I think she's good. I think she's fine. Um, and everyone's probably underrating her. Not necessarily because she's bad, but she just isn't bringing anything explicitly unique to the table compared to everyone else on the banner. Uh, this guy is like the definition of, of new to the table. And then if you consider like Lumera and Bale new, um, you know, like I guess it's technically new, but then the design wise, it's a little bit similar to their mythics. I have no idea who Ursula is, by the way. Um, someone at IS must love her because we just had her desert alt and then she got another one here. Um, so maybe there's some Ursula dev just ro roaming around, I don't know. But to be fair, I remember I was reading on Reddit and then someone said that like in the Black Fang, this was uh, apparently bound to happen. So I don't know, I don't I don't really, I never heard of her games. I ne I've never played them, uh, but whatever. She was, she was bound to be here eventually, apparently. And so, yeah, I like Ursula. I think she's cool. I just don't think she's the best on the banner. Despite that, I, I, I would like to have one of her. Um, but yeah, I think she's just okay. And then Lumera. So I was, wait, well, first of all, she has the same clothes again, uh, which is <laughs> which is really, really funny. Um, I mean, she, like she only has one outfit in Engage, but like, I, I, it's, I don't know. It's, it's, it still is pretty boring. I wasn't, I wasn't too thrilled that 
we got another Lumera though. I'm I'm happy for Lumera fans and all and, and whatever. Actually, there's this really funny tweet by um by Cheese Wizard just just dogging on her <laughs> on her outfit, which is which is low key true. Like it's the same outfit. She has, she has the exact same clothes. Um, she also has more alts than Alir, which is funny to think about. And yeah, I, I think it's kind of uninteresting that we have new versions of Mythics that we got so soon. Like she came out like end of January, bro. Like it's like it was so soon. Like we just got her. Um, so yeah, I, I do kind of wish it was something a little bit more different, um, but uh, you know, she's here. And also, oh, I was worried that they were gonna drop a rearmed unit right after I made my rearmed tier list. And of course that's exactly what they did. <laughs> um, but you know, like if I, if I waited, I kind of had a feeling this would happen. But if I waited for every little thing and every thing in this game, like I, I would just never upload any videos because this game is like bound to be updated anyway. It's just the nature. Um, so I, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't really gonna wait wait too much because if I if I waited for her to come out, then I would have pushed the video back maybe like by three weeks because it's kind of like what I said. I don't like to evaluate units so closely to when they just came out. Um, but my thoughts on her, I think she's okay. I don't think she's like better than S tier. I think she's like, she's fine enough. Um, but like, yeah, she didn't, she didn't really like blow my mind with, with anything. I thought she was just okay. This guy, this guy is, is better than okay. This guy's pretty fucking stupid, actually. Um, I, I, <laughs> um, I have no idea who the hell this guy is, um, but like people, a lot of people got hype for him. I know PM1, Oblivion was super hype. Uh, and for me, like the biggest thing I'm like, worried about is drain or essence drain like ah oh, like i on him it's it's nice i'm more worried about the day they put it on something stupid like like duo like duo saw me or just some someone ridiculous right uh they have a tendency to do that first we saw the turning off the actions with mythic Sather, and then new year Sather, and then fomortis and then duo leon so i just I I just like I really really don't want to see essence drain on anything on anything else but this guy okay so just just keep it onto this guy please um, I, I just <laughs> really hope they keep it to this guy and then but I, I like him a lot I think he has the potential to uh, yeah I probably like him the most just based on what he does his uniqueness how effective that uniqueness is but again um, I'm not we won't fully really really know until we play with him a little bit more and then Veil. Oh, so I was actually like scared or not scared. But I was like, oh fuck, they better not make another season, uh, a season, a non-season locked version of Vale. And then of course, that's the first thing that they showed off in the trailer. So I was like, oh fuck, like this, I, I think Vale is really good. The OG Vale. I have a very high opinion of OG Vale. I think she's really good. And this one of course is even better. And she's not season locked and she's sparkable and in the normal pool. So like, fuck, like I probably have to fight this like every day of the week now. Um, <laughs> so. It is, it is, I think she's really good. Um, maybe, like, be better than Lumera. I don't know if that's a hot take. I, I think she's better than Lumera. And I like her a lot. I think her support is amazing. She's just an amazing infantry mage. And that's also why I'm pretty critical of other infantry mages that aren't as good as, like, broken-ass units like this. Like, I, I just think they're really good. Um, but, but yeah, like, from a meta standpoint, they're all really good. But even knowing that, I still didn't summon because none of them are, like, my explicit faves. Uh, and I didn't think, I don't think, even with all that, I don't think any of these guys break the meta, which is good. We don't need another duo Leon, like, every, every two weeks. Um, but, but, yeah, like, overall, I'm very happy with, like, power level-wise. I think they're, like, unique enough, but not so unique broken. They break the game. But then character choice-wise, I just wish we got, like, I don't know, maybe her different clothes. Or just not, not the two of them so soon after they came out. Um, but, yeah, so let's do some full circle sparks, um, or full circle summons. And so the next question is from Google Chrom, which uh, I love the name. Favorite character from Fire Emblem, uh, Yuri. Uh, it's, 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 it's definitely Yuri. After that, it's Peony, and then it's Ivy, and then it's Felicia. I don't need to talk about like all my faves this time around, but I love Yuri. I think he's, I think he's just badass. Like he's got the Riz, he's got the drip, he's got the scheming plans. He's a better tactician than Claude. That, okay, like I know Claude is the sneaky tactician type, okay? But then in Dimitri's routes, you do the exact same thing. Whereas Yuri pulls like, he does multiple Uno reverse cards on people and is, I don't know if you guys ever played uh, Cinder Shadows, which is like his DLC, but he, he pulls multiple like biggest brain plays. I love, I think that's like so cool. He's just badass. He's got the, he's got the Riz. He's got, yeah, I, I love Yuri. He's probably my favorite Fire Emblem character of, of all time. Um, oh, and unit feel. 
I think like unit feel is like also really important for me based. Oh, I like Mei. Yo, why don't they have a resplendent Mei? Anyways, so I love unit feel. I feel like unit feel is like really important to me. And in in Fire Emblem Three Houses, he's pretty he's pretty good. And then in Fey, he's he was pretty. <laughs> OG Yuri was like pretty freaking good uh, by the time he came out. So like just just knowing he's a three move arranged infantry with Kanto two like it, it's just it's just such a fun feeling. I think he's so much fun. Yeah. So that that's kind of why I really love uh, Yuri, love the character. Obviously, not the. <laughs> Anyways, um, if I were a unit in the game, this is coming from Sky Center. Uh, what would I be? I would be Legendary Yuri because he's got the Riz and the Drip and he's badass. Uh, it's it's as simple as that. Um, Thank you for the question, Sky Center. And then the next one is from Salted Snacks. Uh, who is your favorite legendary to use? Uh, legendary Yuri. Uh, <laughs> no, no, they, you know, I, I love him. I, I use him in every single mode I can, and even the modes I probably shouldn't. I just I just slap him on. If if not him though, um, let's just like a, a video, uh, just a sorry, just a legendary that I like to play around with. Maybe Lilina um, because she has like an instant AOE. And the Kanto, and she gives the team Kanto. Like, I, I don't know. I didn't know why people, more people, didn't talk about her when her refine came out. I remember it was a pretty hot take, uh, putting her that high in my Fire Legendary tier list. But you know, at, at the end of the day, I was like, should I put her this high? But then I was like, it's my list. Like, it's my. I will say my fucking opinions. Like, I will, <laughs> I will put it on there. Um, so thank you, Salted Snacks, for the kind words. Uh, and so the next question comes from Sammy on Twitter and uh, Rogex on YouTube. And by the way, follow me on Twitter if you want, uh, because I post things on there that I don't always post on here. And so their questions is, what is some of your top three banners of all time? Or do I have a favorite banner of all time? And if so, why? Um, so thank you and uh, thank you for the question and the kind words, guys. L my favorite banner of all time has to be the Legendary Yuri banner. I, I, I love Legendary Yuri. It's kind of funny because I didn't think I, I didn't think he would come out. Um, I saved up a lot of orbs for him. I'll probably put it in here uh, when I edit in when I edit it in, it in. But yeah, I just didn't think he would ever come out. I didn't think he would ever like. I didn't even know he was qualified as a candidate. But then they made legendary Lelina, so I guess if Lelina <laughs> can get in, um, so when everyone everyone else, I mean like he's kind of a lord. He's the leader of his own house. Um, but then he's also kind of DLC, so whether or not you consider him a lord, I think it, it kind of depends. I think a lot of people don't consider him a lord. But but I love him. I think he's so cool. I I was wanting a legendary alt of him for so long. I didn't think it would ever happen, so I, I just like popped off like crazy uh, when when it actually did. That's probably my my favorite banner of all time, just because legendary Yuri exists. Um, and then the, other than that, it would my second favorite banner would probably be. The New Year's uh, Peony banner. I love New Year's Peony, but specifically, my favorite banner would be the one where she color shared with Dogger that one year. Like that was insane value. Like two very good duos on the same color. Like that was crazy. So I love that one. And then the third one. That one was. It was hard for me to think of a third one. But if I had to put one, maybe like the attuned Peony banner, just because it's another broken Peony. Um, and she's like super good as a as a as a factory. So, yeah, that I, I think it would probably be a tuned peony for that reason. Thank you for the question. And the next, speaking of peony, um, LFN1 asks. Yo, by the way, shout out LFN1. You are the goat. Why peony? So, my profile picture is peony. I love peony. First of all, I talked about unit feel before. Uh, she's a great dancer. Like. Well, I mean, of course, relative to when she came out, but uh, and dancers in general, I I love dancers, um, specifically in Fey. I didn't really love them in Fire Emblem Three Houses, and especially because like the maps there are humongous, bro. Like, goddamn, like the maps are so big, um, and, and it makes no sense to have a dancer that can move four spaces when your wyverns can move like eight. Uh, <laughs> um, but in Fey, especially, right, the maps are so small. Her and and so that's why I love her unit feel wise. And then personality, she's so sweet. Like she just wants happy things for everyone. She keeps all the fairies together. She just wants everyone to be happy. Like she tries her best. Oh, I, I I love her. I don't know how you could not like her. Um, and then also, I didn't get anyone. Yeah, I don't think I got anyone nice. And then also, when I started uh, being a fate tuber, I wanted to represent a character. I'm not as as cool as any of the other fate tubers who can uh, make their own profile picture art, right? 
And so it was, I was picking between repping um, Peony or Yuri, but then Peony is like exclusively a Fire Emblem Heroes character. So if you saw her, then you would know that I, I made Fire Emblem Heroes content, not general Effie content. It doesn't really matter now, but at the time it, it made sense, right? Uh, so the next question is from uh, Louis Lang, and how did you get into Fire Emblem? What's the games you've played, favorite games, favorite lord, and favorite soundtrack? So I started playing Fire Emblem because a close friend of mine, she actually lent me her copy of Fire Emblem Three Houses. She's a humongous Fire Emblem fan, and so I was always big into Nintendo, but I never played it myself. Uh, I never played Fire Emblem myself, but then... Once I started playing Three Houses, I loved it. I was, honestly, I was addicted to it. Like I played 300 hours of it. I played every single bit. I played the DLC. I, I loved it. That was really the moment I, I got hooked. I, I played everything. And then I played Awakening and I loved that even more than Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, I just think the gameplay is so addicting. I played all three routes of Fates back to back, which is a lot of Fates. Um, <laughs> then I played Shadows of Valencia, which I loved, uh, minus all the stupid swamp. Uh, then of course I played Heroes, and then I played Engage. I actually own uh, the Collector's of, uh, Edition of Engage, which is like... I also bought some stupid buttons off the Nintendo store. I, I don't even like buttons, I just, I just really wanted it. Um, of them all, my faves would have to be Fire Emblem Three Houses and Awakening. Uh, and then a tier under that would be like maybe Engage and of course Heroes if you consider Heroes a, a Fire Emblem game. My favorite Lord would be Yuri, but if you don't consider Yuri a Lord, which like a lot of people don't, I can kind of see why. I'm not really sure if I would either. Then this is, oh, this is a hot take. Um, it's Alphonse, actually. It's, actually, it's fully Alphonse, okay? Al people are dogging on Alphonse, okay? I I don't know why pe more people don't love Alphonse. I think he's badass, okay? He's got the plans in book six. And he's, got the, he's got the hustle. He's got the grit. And then he's got, like... He, he brings it, okay? In book six, like, he told Embla, like, he, he killed his father. Oh, and then in, um... In book seven, right? Ratatoskar was like, oh, like, kill me super nicely, whatever. And then Alphonse was like, all right, like, get to the left. Like, I will I will do it. Like, he he had no fucking chill. Like, you can, you can see him slowly uh, becoming into Lyft, which is awesome. Uh, I, I think Alphonse is so sick, okay? And and more people gotta, gotta know how cool Alphonse is. <laughs> um... And then best soundtrack is it is it is it a cop out to say Fire Emblem Three Houses? I just think they constantly bring out such good songs. Uh, I think they have a lot. Next question is from Greybeard uh, on Twitter. Another Faytuber. What is your what is your dream summer banner? Ooh, okay. Um, oh, it's Duo Yuri. Uh, I I want a Duo Yuri every single seasonal. I want them to have a Duo Yuri because I will summon for it. And like just like how cool would that be? Oh, specifically. Mm, I want a duo Yuri with Constance. Uh, they had a paralogue together in Three Houses. And then, oh, if it was summer, then she can do her like emo thing where she's in the sun. She's like, I hate the sun or, or whatever she does. Like, I feel like that could be so cool. Um, and then the duo Yuri, I want Yuri to be the lead because then it's like he can they can have the foul play. And then uh, he can have his like, his, and I need his foul play to be broken. Okay, they gotta upgrade it. It's gotta have like the most like absurd, absurd like shit, like special charging, like another action, uh, hush spectrum, like let him act again, like no isolation, like turn off all actions of the whole team, like everything, everything. Just <laughs> okay. Um, and then they're gonna name it something stupid, like like uh, I don't know, devious play, because <laughs> they always have a dumb way to rename the preference skills, right? Uh, but I don't care. I need a good Yuri. And then hmm. After that, I would do Summer summer Sharina, just because uh, for Joel, uh, Joel, <laughs> and then Sharina deserves an alt, okay? Like, they already have the Cypher art where she's, um, I think she's on a, she's like swimming or on a surfer. Oh, whoa. Okay. I actually don't have her yet. Um, I, I didn't get her from the ticket, so interesting. Okay. Um, let's see what her, I, I mean, I don't even care about IVs anyway, so, okay, I like to have her. Um, and so... What was I talking about? Oh yeah, the the summer summer Sharina. Uh, we need another Sharina alt. I like Sharina, even if she like blares like the most annoying Fire Emblem heroes. Uh, she shouts the name of the game every single time you open up the app. Um, and then after that, um, I would say maybe Alphonse, Summer Alphonse, to join Sharina. And then Happy or Balthus, just to round out the three houses. I love seeing the Ashen Wolves all together. And then. And then, and then, yeah. So the next question comes from Francis. And so there's a couple here. The first is my least favorite meta unit, sleeper unit, 
favorite art uh, in Fey. And then, and then, yeah, so the least fave meta unit, um, all of them. Uh, I fucking hate everyone in this game. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, pro probably Duel Leon. Um, is that like a cop-out answer? I just think his like, the, the issue, I'll, I'll talk about Duel Leon a little bit more later, but just like the fact that he does so much, so incredibly well, like it's so, uh, god damn, like it's so stupid. Um, sleeper unit, uh, okay. Is it is okay? I would say Lalina and Hortensia. Um, I think Lalina was like a sleeper because people weren't really talking about her much after her refine. And then, but then I like obviously I think people talk about a little bit, a little bit more with uh, the tier list I made and like yeah like she's objectively not she's not she's not broken but she's very very good. And then other than that, I would say Hortensia. Is it weird to say Hortensia is a sleeper? Like I think now people realize definitely. Most definitely the value of Hortensia, but people didn't really realize it back in February. Um, the support that she like gave was just so much, but it was it was hard to really visualize it until she came out. So I don't think Hortensia is a sleeper unit now, but but at the time I think she was a sleeper unit. And then favorite character in art uh, in Faye, like ooh, you know what? Um, I'll give it to New Year's Peony. I was debating like Legendary Yuri, but but New Year's Peony, like I love just how happy like. Uh, Peony and Triandra looks like the and the art is really nice. I love the designs on their on their like kimonos or the clothes and it's just like so visually pleasing. The bright colors, I I, I love I love that New Year's Peony alt. Um, it's probably my favorite, maybe my favorite unit in Fey, um, other than Legendary Yuri. So I, I love that New Year's Peony. Um, and and yeah, thanks for the question. And then after that, oh CYL hopes. Uh, so. Read the rules is wondering about uh, <laughs> Intello. Enjoy your videos a lot and your style of comedy. Thank you for uploading good content. My question is, do you have any predictions or hopes for CYL? Thank you for the kind words. And so my hopes, um, it would be <laughs> for all my faves to win. So I want Yuri to win. I want Ivy to win. I want Peony to win. And I want Felicia to win. Uh, but that would never happen. Okay. I need I need a spark. Um, I don't think I got anyone. Yeah, I didn't get... I think my luck this time around... Eh, it's okay. Um... I said I'll go to just one spark, but should I go to just one? Uh, maybe I'll think on that. Um, and so, yeah, this time around, actually, yes, yeah, screw it. I'll go to two. I, I have more questions to answer. Um, oh, if that's a lot of orbs. I don't want to dip under 5k. Uh, actually, no, I, I, I won't go to. I won't go to two sparks. But then I'll still chat around, answer. Um, but, anyways, yeah. So, anyway, so on, on the question. Uh, hopes for CYL. I would say like maybe because I, I okay I didn't think the rest of them would ha would win right. Um, let's see. Well, actually, first let me. Okay, actually let me take care of this. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get any, anyone, which is super annoying. Yeah. Okay, Ursula, give me your life and death. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was really hoping I would get a copy of like everyone else, all of the other people, but. Is what it is. Sometimes you get good luck. Sometimes you get a little bit less good luck. Uh, do I summon for the rest? No, I, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Let's see what she. Art's pretty nice. Lots of purple. She's like she's already purple, and then the fallen purple. Lots of purple. Um. Okay. In the meantime, she. Well. Yeah. Do I summon? Uh, okay, no, 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 no. No, I'm backing out. I'm backing out. I, I need to save my orbs. Well, you know, I just don't like to blow more orbs than I have to. In the meantime, uh, gate to oblivion. Oblivion night. Okay. Anyways, um, what are my teams? Uh, sure. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just we can just chat over over forging bonds. Um, but but yeah, like I think that here. Let me t yeah. Go with the sex accessories. So yeah, sorry, we were talking about CYL units. Um, I would love all my faves to win, but I don't think that would happen other than like maybe <laughs> Ivy and uh, yeah, Ivy is probably the one the most likely chance to win. Otherwise, I don't think the rest would have a chance unless like m maybe Yuri if the fans of every male character just like took a long nap for like se seven days in a row or so so something. Um, although, otherwise, I, I don't think, <laughs> I, I just don't think um, they would really, they would really win. Um, Let's see here. I think that this time around, engage sweep is going to happen. I think there's going to be more focused votes because hmm, I remember. Maybe may, correct me if I'm wrong. I'll, I'll fact check this later. But I remember reading that from a pure game basis, 
most engage actually had the most votes um but it's just that the votes were like scattered across other other characters like so many characters that's why it wasn't centered on one particular unit and a combination of that and like other people that were complacent with their votes like like i was pretty complacent because um normally like i, I, just, I didn't vote even though i really wanted ivy to win i was convinced that she was gonna win and so because of that i threw my all my votes to uh to felicia just because i like her i didn't think my votes would would matter <laughs> um so so yeah so there are probably other people like me that were complacent with their votes um but this time around i think i think people will be more focused uh i think more votes are like yeah people will probably be more, more focused i think after they saw what happened this time around i think next time they're like yeah we need to we need to focus on making sure engaged characters get their alt and so speaking of cyl units uh hickey deer is wondering um out of the six cyl units as uh, the cyl six units who do you think is the most likely to get a meta breaking refine and what would it do um ooh, is it is it weird to say crom okay actually yeah yeah i'm gonna say crom hear me out the rest of them i think they're bad well, not bad but like you know like they're they're not top tier of the meta not necessarily because of like i think it's really more their class right like being an enemy phase um ranged flyer for byleth and then being like a, a like a dragon melee like uh infantry for tiki the real issue is just like i think there's a lot of things that it, it would be tough to fix like you probably need a, a legendary sellif level refine for i think even someone like brave tiki but then judging by how they did the cyl5 refines i think they're trying to make the units like even less better with the refine like i, I felt like the cyl5 refines weren't that strong like not even strong for refine standards uh, which is funny to think about because most refines are like absolutely worthless um so so assuming they have that same mindset with six and like having a, a less powerful refine for the Seawell six units then i i highly doubt they're going to give any of them the level of like a legendary cell of refine never mind never mind even like even a full like really good refine which is really sad because everyone everyone loves Seawell units Although to be fair, CYL six units definitely don't need refines, um, and so yeah, out of everyone, I would say it's Krom. Not necessarily because the refine itself will be good, but Krom is still meta defining today, and just like like <laughs> making Krom better in any way, shape, or form, uh, it, it's just like it, it's only gonna make him better. So I think that they will probably make him the best not even on purpose like they as long as they don't do a refine that makes them actively worse which maybe they will do i don't know but then i think the mo better the best one will be will be crom um, which is awkward and annoying for the rest of us but crom fans just continue to eat okay um oh i just realized i'm not wait so i didn't even know sonia and ursula were from the same games <laughs> that's actually kind of funny i didn't know that I don't even know what game they're from. <laughs> it's one of the GBA ones, right? Anyways, I like I honestly like gen I, even though I love story, I actually don't really listen or, or read all the forging bonds because because I don't have Fey Pass. I need to like spam auto battle just to max any of them out. So it, it's just like <laughs> it's just it's just a big like honestly I do this like whenever I'm I'm autopiling or doing something unimportant. But this time around, sure, I'll, I'll I guess I'll like put it in the background, um, and then. So I was talking about CYL refines. Yeah, so I think I think Krom will probably be the best one. So the next question is from Byleth's Boba. Shout out Byleth's Boba for being so real. Just a real one in every single way. Um, and so if I worked at IS and I was in charge of making Duo Leon manageable, what do I do? Is he just fundamentally broken? Um, if I worked at IS, I'm, I'm shutting this game down. I'm <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I would... I would uh, it's like that meme. Uh, I, if I okay, I would I would shut this game down and make Faye too. Okay, um, it's like that meme where like do you guys know that meme? It's like oh I messed up, I gotta go bald. You know, it's, it's, it's like that one. <laughs> okay, um, no, but I I don't think he's broken because of the pre-combat thing or, or the sweep. Like we're already used to whole a, a whole bunch of player phase nukes all the time, right? Like um, that itself is not nothing new. But the biggest issue is like one the shutting off the turn thing which is outrageous and then him being so capable in every other aspect like it was just i think that really uh, ballooned the issue and what would i do like 
I guess I would make some skill that's like like the ploy skill that says if you try to turn off my action, like uh, no you don't, which is like <laughs> that's kind of like my half joking answer. Um, but also I'm not really sure what would be the best option because I also don't want a, sp uh, a meta where everyone needs to waste space in their skill economy just to fight like one guy or like one specific unit. I kind of hate that game design. Um, and, and I'm not a game designer. Like I don't actually think that my ploy suggestion is good, but then that's literally what they did. Like they, they, <laughs> they literally did that with grand strategy. So clearly it was good enough for them. Like where the fuck? Like <laughs> I just thought that was okay. Um, but yeah, Duel du du Leon is, is a problem. I, eventually he will phase out all, all units will phase out. But I, and I'm actually, I'm actually very curious on how they get rid of him, uh, but but time will tell. So, thanks, Bilas Boba, for the question. You always the goat. And then the next question comes from Ethan. So, question hypothetically, if you work at IS, um, how would you fix the current issues of summoning without affecting profits? Have a wonderful summoning session. Thank you, Ethan. Um, I don't think you can, to be honest. I, I don't think you can fix it without affecting profits because, like, there's so much garbage in the pool, right? But they love it that way, like it means it's less likely for you to get the shiny uh, five stars. I know they do kind of clean the pool every once in a while, but they only clean it enough so that it's like still hard for people to get what they want. And they always want people to use their orbs, right? So I don't, I don't think there's any way to change the issues without having any people spend less orbs. Um, or like, I just don't really see any particular way. I know there's like this, idea thrown around where people are like oh they could use a second like shop or something uh, for all the gen 1 trash or, or whatever but but then if if someone if someone out there really wanted that gen 1 trash then they would use the shop instead of the orbs that they would want you to use and is would prefer you to use your orbs so it's really hard um i, I don't really see it doing it i uh, see them changing anything which is kind of sad because there's like so much trash even in the five star pool never mind never mind like four or three star so you just swim in units that are like completely fucking dog shit like uh, anyways that's 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 kind of unfortunate but it is what it is um next up we have a question from joel uh theology of course and, and while we're here joel um i love you and if we collabed i would probably cry tears of joy and then i would name my first son after you okay his name would be joel um anyways so he's, he's asking if i was the president of is for five minutes what's the one thing i would change uh, i would shut the game down uh, <laughs> no i'm actually not joking though uh dead ass I think the game needs to be shut down. I'm going to say it. I think they got to go scorched earth on this and just, just restart the whole thing, okay? No joke. I think it could be one of the best things for the game. It would bring in a whole new wave of, of players if they shut it down and make Fae 2. It would bring in a whole new wave of hype and new players because the way the game is right now, there's just no way you could reasonably say the game is good to a new player. Like, I have this one uh, close friend of mine and she was like, oh, like, what's this, what's this game you make videos on? And I could not even tell her in good faith to, to start it, to start playing it because it's just it's just like so much uh, to learn. So it's really sad. My actual proper answer: What is the one thing I would change? I would change their mindset. Like I would change the mindset of IS because it's it's pretty clear that IS is content with not having new players come into the game. Like I I just don't think they would design the game otherwise. So. And like the stupid merged ordeals thing. Like, I, I think they're aware that they mainly rely on the whales and they're okay with that. And they wouldn't continue to design the game like this if they weren't, right? And so I can't even say that there's one specific, like, I can't even point to one mode that I want them to change. Because even if, let's say it's summoner duels, right? Like, if I told them to fix summoner duels, it wouldn't, it wouldn't solve the 99 other problems the game has that makes it, like, annoying to come into the game. Uh, because... It's like a mindset, like the whole game is designed with the aspect, it's okay to not have new players. Uh, and I think that's kind of sad. Like I, I wish they didn't have that mindset anymore. So either I hope they could, I, I would change the mindset. Like I would just make them design it so they don't have that or go scorched earth, just restart, Fae 2, um, I don't know. But that, that'll probably never happen. <laughs> Thank you, Joel, for the question and all the amazing content. I know you guys are already sub to Joel. And if you're not, uh, what's wrong with you? Okay, so next is uh, RGDayZ on Twitter. If they made Fate 2 on the Switch, would they let us um, transfer anything over? And what would I add? Uh, I don't think they would make a Fate 2 on Switch. They would probably want to keep it on, on mobile. And then would they make uh would they let us use our old units uh definitely not uh <laughs> they would make us spend all over again so i, I highly doubt especially because like the game has been out for so long 
Um, there's no way that they're gonna have like, yeah, there's just no way gonna let us carry over. So they're gonna make us summon, summon for everyone again. I, I think that's fine. It is. It's just kind of like a fact I've accepted. What would I want them to add? Um, no, I, I want them to take away. Like, <laughs> the the game would be fucking better if they had less things and started over. So do, do not, do not add. Okay, do not add. Do not, do not add. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But if, but if they were to add uh, more like co-op PVP, uh, more co-ops like PVE. I want to play with, uh, you know, I think it's more fun to play together. I think that'd be more fun. Um, so the next question is from Rocket Gal on Twitter. G guys, I love Ro Rocket Gal. It's probably one of the funniest people on the internet. Like, I, kn I know for a fact, all of you guys would love her if you're not already subbed to her. So go sub to her right now. Um, and while we're here, like, collab. Like, we should collab. Like, I, if we collabed, I would cry tears of joy. And then I would name my first son after you, okay? His name would be Joel, uh, Joel Rocket Gal, okay? Um, <laughs> so she asks, what are some of my hobbies outside of Faye? Um, ooh, I mean, gaming's a hobby. I'm like, obviously I, I love everything Nintendo. Like, um, I'm, I'm a big Nintendo person. If I, if I wasn't a Fae tuber, I would be probably like a Nintendo tuber or whatever they're called. Um, I'm, I'm a day one Wii U owner. And like a lot of you might not even know what that means, but it, the point is I love Nintendo beyond gaming. Um, I would say, hmm. oh, theater. Um, I think acting is so much fun. Uh, I just, I don't have anything coming up, but in March, I actually just wrapped up my, my last production. Uh, that's actually <laughs> some of the reasons why it took me so long to finish the Earth tier list, but that's besides the point. I love acting, I love doing theater, and it might explain why I can put the put the oomph <laughs> when, I, when I talk through with my tier list. I love making things sound interesting and fun. Uh, I think like theater is so much fun. And then beyond that, I'm a big foodie. I love trying a whole bunch of restaurants, like local businesses. Um, specifically though, I love trying ice cream. I love ice cream. Have you guys ever had rolled ice cream? Like I, I didn't realize how, how rare of a thing this is, but rolled ice cream is the bomb. Like rolled ice cream is so good, guys. If you haven't tried rolled ice cream, uh, summer is coming, you have to try it. It's just, it's really good. Um, thank you, Rocket Gal for the question. I love you. I, Rocket Gal is so funny, guys. Anyways. The next question is comes from the homie Theron on Twitter, and then uh, Blute Gang Hero, both of them Fate Tubers, and they both ask me, "What are some of your favorite non Fire Emblem games?" Um, I'm glad Theron's still breathing; he didn't get a heart attack from from the joy he felt after uh, everyone was tagging him and uh, pretty when a Tune to Zero was announced. And then Blute Gang always has the best Marion clears, so shout out to them both. My favorite non Fire Emblem games. It's Ace Attorney, um, and if and if you guys have like seen uh, my or seen my videos, like the music I pick, it's always Ace Attorney because I love I love Ace Attorney. I think Ace Attorney is peak fiction. Like guys, like if you have you can you can play Ace Attorney right now. It's it's on the entire mainline series, and um, the great Ace Attorney is on all modern platforms. You can go play it right now. I love Ace Attorney. And if you haven't played Ace Attorney, like it, it's peak fiction, guys. It, it is It is just such a good plot. It will capture you. If you love Fire Emblem, I, I have a very strong feeling you would love Ace Attorney. Like the characters, the world building, it's so much fun. Um, beyond Ace Attorney, I love Smash. I'm, I'm big into Smash. Actually, funny enough, the name enemy is a pun because I used to main me brawler. So it's like, you know, like enemy, me, brawler. You guys get it. <laughs> and then other than that, my favorite games are a series called uh, The World Ends With You or like Neo The World Ends With You. This is like a super niche uh, game series. Maybe I'll talk about it on a, a live stream one day, but but I, I love these games like Ride or Die. Like these games are probably like, probably what shaped my um, childhood maybe. Like these games are so, so good. And I love it when they came out with Neo. Thank you guys for the question. And the next is Satachi, also known as uh, Poopy Fart Poop Fay. <laughs> I, I took the screenshot when he when he had to change his name, so it's it's funny. Um, Satachi, I love you, bro. You are the homie, the goat. Uh, been a real one since the beginning. Um, so now I probably need to name my kid Joel Rocket Gal Satachi. Um, but and if you're not subbed to him, like you're missing out. Like what are you doing? Um, so would you ever stream on your channel? I think you'd be a great streamer. Absolutely. I actually just built my first PC like a few days, like less than a week ago, actually. Um, before I didn't have anything I could stream on, but now I want to. I want to do streams. I want to do so many cool things. So you guys can definitely expect some cool live streams and more face stuff uh, in, in the future. Satachi, you're always the goat. And then yeah, you guys need to go sub to Satachi. Thank you for the question. The next is uh, C Connor. <laughs> Connor, what the fuck is this? 
<laughs> okay? Uh, Con Connor, Zach, uh, and one of the best Fate tubers to ever do it, or former Fate tubers. Um, what is your favorite FNAF animatronic? animatronic? I, I know nothing about FNAF. Um, I, I haven't even seen the movie. I know nothing about it. Um, so, okay, like in prep for this one, I, I went on the wiki page for the FNAF wiki. I, I'm not going to edit it in because it's like, I don't know, it's kind of like gruesome horror. Like, well, not gruesome, but just, you know. And so I thought there was like maybe nine or ten animatronics. Bro, there's like 50. Like, goddamn, like there's so many. Like, they, they have alts. Did you guys know they have alts? They, they could have a FNAF gotcha at this point. Like, they have winter, like, winter alts and Valentine's alts. Like, I was like, holy crap. I, I didn't even know FNAF had a balloon to this big. Um, like, the only ones I know by name are, like, the, the first ones from the first game. But if I had to pick one, um, I, I, I just went on the wiki page and I'm picking Gumball Swivel Hands. Um, I don't even know if they are an animatronic. Uh, on the wiki page, they're under unclassified animatronics but uh, how would gumball even move bro but uh, whatever uh, they look kind of cute you know they look happy uh, i'm going with gumball a shout out to connor um if you love if you if you like my stuff you will love connor stuff um like he had me on a show of his back in january and it was it was by far one of the most fun things uh, i've ever done i'll always be thankful to him he had me on connor is is the goat i love connor and now i would name my kid uh, joel rocket gal satachi connor zach uh, my kid's gonna hate me Anyways, so um, the next question is from Omega Sothis on Twitter. What is your favorite Fey mode? Um, whatever gives me orbs, uh, just give me fucking orbs, okay? Like, what's that? What's that one that you wake up in the morning and like gives you three orbs just by playing it? That shit wakes me up. Like, I, <laughs> I love that one because it's so free. The orbs are so free. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Um, aside from that, maybe it would be the story mode uh not because it gives orbs although that's certainly a big plus but i actually enjoy the face story i don't know if that's a i think that's a hot take right um but i actually enjoy the face story i think it can be so cool and i like to read it i like to keep up um i don't know if you guys read the one from this morning the new plot um well I, yeah i'm not gonna really spoil it but it's kind of like you know more more fate plot fire emblem isn't really known for its plot to be honest but it's there i, I like reading it even if it isn't the best but if you had to ask me from a gameplay standpoint, um, maybe Summoner Duels, which is hilarious to think about because I hate Summoner Duels. Uh, I, I would like it if it wasn't so cringe. Like, if you if you like the feeling of competing or doing well, um, then I think there is some room for things to enjoy in Summoner Duels if that is like the type of fun you want to seek out and if you enjoy competing with the meta. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, the next question is from Try Hunter, and uh, Try Hunter asks. <laughs> <laughs> Do I read this? <laughs> okay, yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll read the whole thing out loud. Okay, so. Imagine you're at a garage sale and you see this lamp. You take the lamp home and you rub it and a genie comes out. The genie says, thank you for freeing me. As a reward, I will let you choose your reward. Would you like bed, bath, or beyond? What are you picking and why? Um, I don't know. Ah, uh, fuck. Beyond, because I already have a bed. Uh, I already have a bath. Um, so yeah, beyond, beyond, sure, let's rock it. Thank you, Try Hunter. Um, and so the next question is from the Ark King. What is your opinion on the remixes for Sigurd and Byleth? Would their positions on the tier list change? Ooh. So, okay, so for, if you haven't seen it, um, I ended up ranking all of the legendaries and then I put, I, I wasn't that crazy on Sigurd and Byleth. So I don't know if that's a hot take, but I, I just, I, I didn't, I didn't really love them. The sad part is, is I know people were pretty high on, or, or some people were not high, but like, I, I honestly, I didn't really like the refines. I, don't, I, I think they're obviously better, but are they so much better that I would go out of my way to summon for them or use them if I weren't like already using them? <sighs> Probably not, which is like, yeah, you know, okay. Let me, okay, let me look at um, uh, Sigurd first. Okay, so. Mm, where did I put him? I put him like pretty low in like D, right? So Sigurd, it's 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 sad because he 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 got worse. He was definitely like not as good as Byleth. I think Byleth probably got the best, and he got some stuff that's nice, but he didn't get like what he really loved. He didn't get special special jumping. He it doesn't really change anything inherently wrong with him. It just makes him slightly better. But it's if you guys ever play Smash. Um, in Smash 4, and I guess I guess Smash Ultimate, they make K 
characters better in the sense that it increases their strengths, but it doesn't fix the underlying issues they have. So that's kind of how I view them um, to, to to Sigurd, because I, it doesn't change the fact that he's like, for example, even if you made him the best you possibly could, um, gu guidance support is still way better than plus one movement. There's so many ways to give plus one movement. So, so nothing, nothing about that could change. It doesn't change that fact. So maybe I would put him like slightly higher than Byleth, um, but but I, I don't know. I, honestly, like it's kind of sad because I have I have Sigurd and Byleth and male Byleth. Like I want to use them. I want them to be better. Um, but I, I I would still probably keep him the same. I don't think I don't think he's like that much better. And then beyond beyond that, Byleth, I think it makes him a better support. But like, I'm not. I, I'm still not sure if I would like. Would you ever run him over Veil, vale? uh, like the Fallen Veil? Vale? Absolutely not. Okay, there, there's not a no 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 chance. So he's a better support but is he is he better than even like camilla like that he was that was basically the one person above him definitely not and is he so much better than what he was before does he deserve a spot in a tier i, I really don't think so like i i just i'm just sad because uh he was on the hero rises i want him to be so so good he's definitely very usable um he, he's definitely better than like uh, better than ophelia will <laughs> rearmed ophelia he's definitely better than 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 those characters will ever be but yeah, I don't know. It's sad because I have both of them. I want them to be broken, but it is what it is, right? IS, IS had different plans. IS had different plans for them that day. And and yeah, I, I don't think my opinions on them would change. The next is, ooh, is Ashnard better than Edelgard? Uh, from blank blank, Ashnard is a better written progressive villain with the context of their games. Um, I don't even know what game Ashnard is from. <laughs> I didn't even know he's a villain. <laughs> But sure, whatever. Um, yeah, why not? I, I, maybe he's better than Edelgard. I, I don't really know. I I don't even know. <laughs> what what game is he from? Hold on, I need to pull it up. I'll, I'll pull it up later. Um, but yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't even know. I like Edelgard, though. Um, I got her on the Winter Banner because I like her. Um, just because I liked her, not because she was good. Although her being good certainly it certainly helped. Oh, Yuri. I'm sorry, Yuri. You are not going to win. You are not. Yeah, you are not going to win. Yep, you're done. Okay, yeah. And then, yeah, so, so yeah, I got Winter Edelgard to scale like, so I, I like Edelgard. Um, yeah, so I sadly, I need to play, I need to play all the FE games. I don't know much about Ashnard, but I'll, I'll look into him later. Thank you, Blank Blank, for the question. The next question from Archer uh, Demo. What are some of your, um, oh, what is the normal pool of units that are good? Um, oh. I think they're all bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. No. Okay. Maybe, maybe harsh is bad, um, or bad is being kind of harsh. Like, for for me, um, I maybe because I'm like pretty picky with my orbs. Maybe that's why I'm kind of relatively critical. But I cannot really think of a no the last time I looked at a normal pool unit and like I didn't yawn. <laughs> um, like I really really liked Fallen Maria, I, but even she's an alt, right? So and even Maria sucks kind of now. So. Yeah, like, honestly, I don't really love anyone in the normal pool. Tina is, like, so, okay, so yeah, you mentioned Tina. Tina is super niche, and Meta Impactful is absolutely not what I would call her. Um, Citrine isn't amazing. I, I think that's also a hot take. I'm, I'm lower on Citrine. Like, I ranked her pretty low in my Book 7 banner tier list. Citrine isn't as high as what I thought. And then Diamant is just straight up, like, bad, which... <laughs> I, think, I think he sucks, um, which is kind of sad, because I like Diamant, but... Yeah, I, I don't know, I... I cannot, yeah, I, I cannot really think of the last time I looked at normal pool and said, yeah, you're actually good, which is really, even Lucia, I wasn't crazy about her when she came out. Um, although she ended up being better than, than what I predicted, even though she did end up worsening, getting worse in the end. Like I didn't like her because she was an infantry sword and I knew she was going to get outclassed. And in that sense, she did like, you don't, you don't really run Lucia now, but, but yeah, like it's kind of fortunate that normal pool units are just not really that good. Um, and so question the last question is uh from Hosue and so do you want the dancers and four and three star healers to have refined weapons do you think the duo dancers will have them too like duo peony um yeah i think they should totally have it and the sad part is like they should have it because even if they had it they would the healers would still be pretty bad <laughs> like um so yeah i don't know why is doesn't want to do that i think they're just like scared or something but 
there's no world where making those guys any better would be would be good. So I do think that they will refine Duo Peony, uh, but we've seen how they do the the legendary and, and mythic dancers. So they'll probably do something stupid and like irrelevant and make their like offensive may do an offensive weapon refine. Um, and they'll do something like really stupid. Like what, what, what is kind of stupid? Um, oh, <laughs> giving giving the triangle adept and not giving the whole team cancel affinity. Like <laughs> what were well, who like? Okay, if you, if you don't if you didn't if you didn't know, like they did something really weird with um, fallen Leon's refine, and then the idea is that it's supposed to like be good for Leon because Leon has cancel affinity, but then they like they give. Um, triangle adept to the enemy, but then they don't give cancel affinity to the whole team. They give it to just Leon. So the enemy team is actually doing like better against the rest of your units, which is dumb as hell. Uh, I, I guess it's payback for for duo Leon being so broken. Is it Leon? Le Leon? Leon? Some people call him Leon. Um, I know some people call him Leon. I call him. Uh, well, you know what? I call him fucking stupid. But <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. In, in the end. Uh, I, I think, I think, like, what, what are we talking about now? Uh, the duo dancers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the duo dancers. I think they'll get, I think they'll do something. Um, I think they'll probably give them some stupid offensive refine, which is unfortunate because you're probably never going to use duo peony off offensively. Uh, but it is what it is. At least they got a refine at all, which is better than, like, uh, Fina. Like, that one, that one, or is it Fina? That one girl that, like, shared the uh, refine with a uh, young Marth. Anyways, um, that's actually all the questions I have for today. Um, oh, actually, I didn't do the arena tickets. Um, I realized I forgot. I, that was on my... Yeah. Um, I never know what to get for these because... Uh, sure, why not? Honestly, there's no one in the pools that I really, really like. Uh, I feel like most of these people are trash. Who is this? I have no idea. Yo, actually, how do Faytubers always... Or, like, do you guys always know who the silhouettes is just based on, like, looking at it? Maybe it's because I didn't play since day one. But then... But every time... I, I see other people do summons. Oh, this is my first one of her? I didn't even realize. Okay. And every time I see people do their summons, and they they see the silhouette for like half a second, and they're like, oh, that's obviously like Sami's cousin's like dog or something. And I'm like, how would you know that? Uh, so so yeah, I, I don't know. I never I never understood um, how they knew that. But yeah, I'm always really bad at guessing silhouettes. I have no idea who the fuck you are either. Oh, okay. Yeah, from TMS. Um, I haven't played TMS, but I like I like the songs from TMS. Whew. Okay, that's all the summons uh, for today. Nothing crazy. Um, yeah, I didn't. Not not too much good on luck, but like it is what it is. I I that's why I was really happy that I knew this was sparkable. So I just came in and got out exactly what I wanted. If you guys have any more questions for me, um, follow me on Twitter because I'll definitely do. Uh, I'll definitely ask for questions on Twitter next time I do summons. I hope everyone's summons went well. Let me know in the comments uh, how your summons went, or like if you didn't summon this time around, what are you summoning for, or what are you waiting for? It was awesome, awesome. I love chatting with you guys. Let's talk some more real soon.